All right, welcome back to Problem Solver Politics. I am your host, Cardin Ellis, with Cody the Oracle. Hey, everybody. And the pop culture is going crazy in the Yang Gang. A music video just dropped. In I, you know, I, I don't want to spoil it because it's actually really cool. Um, but I'm loving these guys getting into pop culture. And Andrew Yang started with MC Jin. It started with some of the other hip stuff. Then we had Rich Brian. Now there's another one, Cody. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, so uh, really quick, we're we'll running in the background for a second here. Uh, music video came out. Uh, I believe Zoo is the name. Zoo and Party with Ray called Came for the Low. Have to be honest, wasn't familiar with the guy. The song's pretty good. Anyway, uh -huh. some people noticed a little something interesting at the last few seconds of the song. I'm going to roll it in the background for you guys right now. So this is as the song's wrapping up. You see a gentleman in a gas mask walk into a car. <laughs> the window opens, and the gentleman pulls off the gas mask, and we get to hear a little... Uh, I came for the low. <laughs> I still love seeing that. I still love seeing it. Again, I can't play the whole uh, the whole song <laughs> for, for, for copyright reasons. Yeah. I'll have the link to the video. And it's I mean, it's a pretty cool music video. I'll play a few seconds in the background. I mean, it's a pretty involved, legit electronic kind of like house music video. And a lot of immigrant people in the gas mask. People, I guess people who watch all the way to the very end. Shout outs to people who watch the very end of music videos when the skit starts. They're like, huh, what's going on? All of a sudden, Andrew Yang what, yeah. came for the low. <laughs> And the, the significance of the name of the song is I came for the low. The hook of the song is that. Um, I, 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 like I said, this video premiered two hours ago. As far as I know, there was no pub. No one knew this ahead of time. Yeah. I would love to hear the story of how this happened. This just makes me think Andrew Yang is so much cooler than the political class around him. Okay, whether you whether you liked him or not. Well, when you reference this moment, I'm just going to run some uh, B-roll in the background real quick. But you remember when he came out on stage at the Rich Brian concert yeah. uh, maybe a month or so ago? That was huge, man. I think I'm just running the beginning talk over, but it, this isn't the first time Andy Jang's done something like this. He's really getting in with the, particularly the kind of like, but a, he's not, not just, an Asian American. This guy, I believe, is actually Filipino or not. I don't know where he's from, but somewhere else. Yeah. I did being, he's looking at the Asian music culture, and it's really interesting seeing him kind of move on and on and on and doing more and more stuff. The uh, the artist in the last one was a Chinese-American artist, Zoo. Just very cool seeing him integrate in places we haven't seen. Like, I would say the, like, Asian-American and just Asian in general music culture and industry isn't being... Uh, industry isn't penetrated by Democratic candidates very often. Well, this it, is it, new to me. Yeah, and, well, and the other thing, too, is it's, it's not just getting integrated in association... He he's willing to actually be on screen. Okay, there's plenty. Hillary Clinton was more than fine, you know, having the celebrity show up and then she would just come up and wave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I would say the, the gas mask is an interesting an interesting visual for a 2020 I mean, Democratic cool. candidate. It's, it, I, I have to admit, I've never seen someone running for president in a grainy VHS style music video pull a gas mask off. I've never seen that before. So I, that, I mean, yeah, yeah, like they're willing to show up on talk shows and be asked neutered questions that their publicist has already, you know, tested with the focus group. And and uh, Barack Obama was actually really good at this. His 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 BuzzFeed social media videos, and his his integration into like for example the Jerry Seinfeld show and stuff. Uh, it, it, he he was the fulfillment of the um uh, of the original meaning of of the word charisma. Charisma comes from the Greek word that literally meant gift from the gods because. You know, to have that 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 charismatic ability to deal and wheel with people and make them like you, they just saw as just a gift from the gods. It's something so unique. And Barack Obama had that gift. Now, unfortunately, he used it to drop bombs once every eight minutes for the in I mean, once every 20 minutes for the entire yeah. eight years of his presidency. But anyway, um, it, it shows that, that a candidate's got that gift. And Andrew Yang has that gift. I guarantee you they're. Are consultants in Washington that are saying, "Oh no, 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 Mr. Yang, I don't, I don't think that's a really good idea. The, 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 the optics of this could be perceived as juvenile." But there's Andrew Yang crowd surfing, which was a risk, but totally paid off. Yeah. There's Andrew Yang in the music video with a gas mask that was a risk, but it looks like it totally paid Just, off. Well, I flip running again, watching it again. It is, it is, <laughs> it is almost stunning to see a, a, a well, yes, he's not a politician, right? He's never held office, but someone running for office, yeah, appear in this way. I personally love it. I I feel like it's the kind of thing where, honestly, I don't know how many people that would be bothered by this are going to seek out, you know, house music videos on YouTube, but... But he might convert some house well, listeners. No, what I'm saying is, it might, yeah. make, it might make... No, I'm saying for the detractors, it, I think he's done it in a way where, why would detractors even know this is real? And, like, the people who are going to see it are going to be the people who think it's cool. I personally think it's really cool. I love it. I came for the low. Just give it, I, it is a little bit, though. 
it is a little bit. If you're running for president, should you be shouting someone's song out in their music video? Is that a little bit too much of an endorsement Yang gave oh, this guy? Uh, house music is, is this, benign. Is this the There's official, no... the official like upcoming like? I if love he, it. If he wins, is this the new song of the the White House? <laughs> I, <laughs> if he wins, is he writes to the song? Can he just play it everywhere all the time? Oh, I don't know, but one thing's for sure: we know what artists are going to be doing his inauguration. Uh, inauguration music. Honestly, I it's going to be a collaboration between MC Jin, this house music yeah. guy, hey, and have, Rich Brian, well, right? And, and Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. Yeah, okay. that's true. I forgot Weezer's all Yang. There's, there's a couple of people too. I'm forgetting as well. And, uh, and there's some conservative there's a couple guys I feel in bad Weezer. Forgetting. Yeah, Weezer well, actually. I, I think, don't know if the whole band endorsed them. I think it's just Rivers Cuomo. <laughs> no, yeah, I know, but uh, Weezer. There's there's two I think registered Republicans in Weezer. If I'm not mistaken, why would you know that? Um, because I once upon a uh, once upon a time knew, and I'm not going to give away the position, okay? But I knew uh, an employee of the franchise that was closely associated with them and had been closely associated for a very long time. The franchise, uh, or oh, sorry, with the band, not oh. the franchise. Um, I thought it was like a yeah, thing they're franchising Weezer. You want West Coast Weezer? We've got a 30 mile radius open around yeah. Los Angeles. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I, but anyway, um, yeah, I love this kind of stuff, and to me, it shows. That this person gets it, okay? Previous to Barack Obama, no sitting president had appeared on late night because the the chattering class and the consultants within the Beltway thought, oh, you don't go on late night. That's that's for the poor people. That's for the that's for those those papas and the 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 proletariat. It's 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 not a good look. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Barack Obama was like, no, nah, I, th I think things have changed and, 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 and late night talk show hosts are, are, are just as popular as the daytime ones, well, if not more. So he like went on. Like the 80s, though? Like, was there really that much stigma against, like, David Letterman in, in the 1995? No, not stigma, but like, it, was, it was still Was Bill Clinton like, oh, Letterman, beneath me, really? No, it's weird for guys like you and me because we grew up with it not being a problem. But don't forget, like, he was the first sitting president that sat while a president on a late night show okay don't forget I, I mean things had changed so much but he hadn't even caught up yet as hip and cool as we thought Barack Obama was in 2008 he was against gay marriage and he said it in the debate with John McCain you know what I'm saying and we're thinking holy crap that was only a decade ago you know so so it, it, it actually boggles my mind that the Beltway people don't catch up to where society has moved underneath them because they're so removed in their ivory well, tower I got in Washington, D.C. I got a question for you about that. Well, interesting. I think I kind of I think Yang's willingness to do this actually kind of speaks a lot to what we're seeing as well. I don't know if you remember there was a we were at the rally, of course. Andrew Yang's rally in Los Angeles. And he's done this many times in the past. He. He had no. He has Andrew Yang has no problem swearing publicly ever. Uh, my, yeah, my favorite moment. It's like a but my, drunken Irish sailor. Well, my favorite moment from his appearance at Rich Brian concert. I can't really play on YouTube because he swears. It is awesome though. He comes out like he owns the stage. Oh, like I've seen a Democratic or a presidential candidate come out to a a rap club at night in New York and own the stage that way. But there is some people who, like you said, they do kind of clutch the pearls at this stuff, and they. Oh, say, who's clutching their pearls? I, there, there's people that, that are. I mean, I what I, boring I, I, some person? Some people just don't like it. It's, I, I wouldn't call them boring. They just disagree. Personally, I'm fine with it. But ultimately, this is the ultimate question I have for this, and it's tough. I don't know the answer to this one. Uh, does it make me like Andrew Yang more? The answer is yes. It makes me like Andrew Yang more. Um, does it help Andrew Yang sway the, the 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 voters he's going to need to sway to win a? Yeah, primary? that's the question of. Of electoral efficacy, but I mean, just I mean, does it help? Like you said, what's yeah. what's the like? Is it really it, now? Is it worth it? I'm assuming this took him fifth, like an afternoon. It's probably worth it. My idea being though, is my question is larger. Like I already like Yang, and I like him more. That's for sure. Okay, but I don't know. Is I guess the question is: Is this going to? Because I don't think it's gonna. I don't think anyone who's like, well, I've been leaning Harris, but then I kind of got upset with her, and maybe now Warren. Oh, Andrew Yang's in an electronic music video? Maybe I'll go him, right? Like, you're not going to see that crowd, but is it going to grab those people who are like, I don't really care about politics? Yeah, no, and they're no. like, why is everyone freaking out about the guy in the gas mask at the end of that music video? And then being like, oh, he's running for, he's running, for, he's running for president? What? And then do you think he can motivate that level of voter? To be honest, I don't know what that level is. I'm a bit ignorant. To this yeah, no, this, this to me, it looks like Andrew Yang barely had to do anything. The reason why I'd be all for this, as much as I'm always trying to analyze the efficacy of something, the reason why I'm all for this is because, let's face it, at the end of the day, the producer of the music video called up and said, look, dude, we literally only need you for one or two takes walking from your front door to a car. Yeah. So, like, we need you for 20 minutes. And if I was Zach Grumman, I'd think, dude, 
even if this just converted 200 house listeners to vote for me and, 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 and post this as a clip on their social media profile, since I literally only need to spend two minutes of Andrew Yang's time and they'll meet me wherever I am in my route that day, okay, this is worth it. But as we, we talked in our previous video about getting the African-American vote, uh, making inroads into the black church and the black community, um, now, now the, uh, the 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 rave the rave culture is next. Yeah, yeah it's he'll be, like you know, he'll be the first TikTok president, the <laughs> first the first the first EDC president. He'll be the first the first everything. But I think I think it was what's well, yeah. I, I don't that. see but this it, making. He's doing it. He's yeah, doing I, it. I see this making inroads into um like that super young house music crowd. But I I don't see it making inroads into much larger demographics of uh, Democrat moderates, uh, the African American vote. Um, we went to the AAPI, the Asian uh, American Pacific well, he Islanders. He brought the house down there, though. Yeah, of course he brought the house down people there. So <laughs> um, I'm seeing more of those people getting converted to go from maybe low propensity to higher propensity voter to like maybe vote for him and maybe him registering some more. But in terms of the big demographics that he struggles with, women and African American voters, I don't necessarily see this. Well, uh, the, being huge on them, but the, so the I, time, I don't though, view it as a bad move. But at the same time, I don't think you appear in a music video to appeal to a. I think you appear yeah. in a music video to appear into a demographic that's people who like that music, right? Yes, like that's, exactly. That's all you can get from that. I just love. So that. now he needs to be in yeah. a Justin Bieber but, music video, so all the young ladies are all about him. But the other thing, at the, <laughs> at the very end, before we before we wrap up here, the thing that really he's really, be with Nick Jonas. Yeah, oh, I think <laughs> I, I don't know how many. That maybe there's some voters with some Jonas votes. Anyway, my, my other thing here though is I think this is this is probably the fifth or sixth time now. That there's been this moment where Andrew Yang does something and people are like, wait, you're allowed to do that when you're running for president? Yeah. You can just show up in some like, you know, like he's music breaking video the and social norm. And, yeah, exactly. And I mean, my favorite was two people, both uh, NBA player Spencer Dinwiddie and uh, world famous professional wrestler Chris Jericho. But Andrew Yang spoke about them and their, or, you know, Dinwiddie's team and stuff. And both of them had the same reaction. I thought it was hilarious. Which both was? Probably wealthier and more famous than Andrew Yang, both. Uh -huh. They're like, holy cow, there's a. There's a presidential candidate who like yeah. watches our basketball games. Like, like there's a presidential candidate who's like pulling for AEW. Yeah, you just got eight team? votes from our team, man. <laughs> no, but the idea being, there's a lot of people who just always kind of feel like politics goes over us or around yeah, us. Yeah, it's this ruling class that is above us yeah. in pop culture, and, and we are pop Yang. culture icons. Yeah. They're ruling class icons, and, and the people that can bridge those gaps, I think, are are it's that it's it's charisma. It's that gift from God. Yeah. Because you know, people, people say like yeah. Hillary Clinton is, is a celebrity. It's like, but Hillary Clinton isn't a celebrity like Tom Hanks is. You know what I mean? Actually, I think they're wrong. Tom Hanks has reached royalty. Hillary yeah. Clinton <laughs> isn't a celebrity like Miley Cyrus is. They're both yeah, but, but extremely you, famous people, but they're both different, like you said. Like, what would be what you would expect from one's different from the other? I think you're right. Yang is kind of in that middle where we will see Yang do stuff. Yang had a big standout moment. Yang got that political fame kind of thing when he went on stage. He was asked about gun control and he had a very honest and yeah. emotional moment. But then he also gets the fame by having rallies that look like rap concerts, showing up with music videos, and coming onto a rap stage and dropping f bombs. Like he has a way to kind of, and we we just did a video about this, talking about how he's hitting these undecided. He's hitting the people that aren't. They're not a hundred percent in for anyone yet, and they're just they're still playing the field. Like who's got good ideas? He's killing it with them, and. I think this is why maybe he has a way of yeah. kind of bringing his message not down, but he has a way of opening up his message to everyone and being like, look, there's nothing that I'm going to say. I'm so far above. I won't be a part of. Well, yeah. except for things that maybe you shouldn't be a part of. Right. But, but no. you know what I mean, you, you get like the general pop culture. We all take part in. He's taking part in it as well, actively with us. Uh huh. And that's really fun and cool. Again, does it win you an election? I don't know. Does it make me like him more? Yes, it does. So here's a boomer moment. You guys get your uh, get your drinks ready for a total boomer moment. I am old enough to remember the, the the first time where there was like an impressive cross between pop culture and uh, a presidential candidate in my lifetime that I remember. You'll never believe what it is, Cody. You ready? Are you ready for the drink? Um, was it when? Uh, was it the first film that? Uh, the first film that? Uh, what's his name? Ronald Reagan starred in. Uh, no, no, I'm not that boomer, bro. That's like Silent Generation. All right, no, 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 I'm not that boomer. All right. But no, um, I remember when Bill Clinton played the saxophone on Arsenio Hall and he straight got up on Arsenio Hall and I think he was in the band or something like that for an opening moment. It was like, -me 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 -me. you know what I'm saying? And he straight up played the saxophone 
On Arsenio Hall. Actually, can you pull up a clip? Do you I'm, actually have I'm, one I'm there? I'm trying right now. I'm trying right now. Yeah. Are you trying to find it right now? Yeah. Um, and then I didn't didn't know this. We'll give credit where credit is due. Usually, I'm ripping on the millionaires and the billionaire hating uh, Brooklynite. Jesus. Uh, Bernie Sanders. Jesus. But I do give credit where credit is due. He pulled off a very effective rendition of a rabbi in a 1990s rom-com. Dude. Yeah, it's not, it was a 1990s rom com. I gotta say, Bernie that, Sanders pulled that off a rabbi. That moves the needle zero for yeah. me. <laughs> Bill Clinton playing the saxophone instead of your hall like that, that moves the needle pretty consistently. Oh, yeah. That's dude. talent, man. Just uh, showing off you have talents outside of just being someone who's uh, raises money and wins elections. I'm down with that always. It's probably like seeing Yang well, play basketball. Also why, Yang's I mean, not an NBA player, but when you see him post videos and play, he can shoot a little bit. He can move a little bit. He's not awful. So I like seeing it. It's, yeah, it's fun and, seeing and, that. And Bill Clinton's, uh, how he secured the African-American vote was just, I mean, people jokingly call him America's first black president, you know, because he, he did so many things that just that leadership loved, you know, uh, between the headquarters in Harlem and the uh, um, playing Arsenio uh, Hall saxophone, like, it, 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 but it's not just for that community. It makes, it makes everybody love it. It's just like Larry Cohen's first films. Uh, you know, Hell Up in Harlem, Black Caesar, things like that. Uh, people might have called them back then uh, African American cinema, or whatever. But it really was for everybody, and 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 brought us all together. So, so this kind of thing, I totally love. I think more candidates need to do it, whether we like it or not. Candidates are reality show contestants now. They are pop culture icons, just like The Rock in the WWE. So you might as well embrace it. You might as well go with it. Andrew Yang is doing that. I really think it's a good move and I like it. Let us know what you guys think. Like, share, and subscribe this video if you want to contribute to the channel. There's a PayPal link and make sure it's PayPal link in the description. And make sure that you follow us on Twitter at PSP Radio One. That's how we communicate fastest, quickest, and most directly with a lot of our fans and announce when we're going to be going live and so on and so forth. This is Problem Solver Politics. We will see you in the next video.